Today we have an interesting light kit. This is the Colo Light Hexagon Pro. This is the heart shaped kit, but you can customize this to any shape you like really. It's also unlimited in its connectivity, meaning you can add as many as you like, and you can also place them on the wall, on a shelf, or on its original stand. It also has a free application, so it's right up our street. Let's take a closer look and see if it's any good. It comes in a well presented box and it has a little bit of weight to it so high hopes for this. The logo is reflective and has a cool rainbow effect. Really nice premium packaging. We've got a little dent there, that's fine though. I like the small gestures, definitely has a premium feel about it. So inside the box we're greeted with this anime style poster. On the back of this we get some shape ideas and there's also some QR codes and some important information about the connections here guys. There is some small details you do need to pay attention to but we will go through it in this video. We've got accessories, a stone base, a wall kit and light panels. So accessories, we get a key fob, a mount, a USB power, some so-called fixators and some connectors. Next we have the base. This is a stone base. I was actually very impressed to see this. I think it's a plaster of Paris, but it's got some rubber feet on the bottom and neat cutouts with a marble design. It also is very weighty. We also get some wall mounting options here, some little discs that you just mount to the wall. They include some screws, other little bits in there. And then we get the actual hexagon shapes themselves. We get 10 pieces with this kit. This particular kit is intended to be a hard shape, but you can make any shape you want from this. They are made from plastic and these hexes are quite lightweight. There's a three key triangular locking mechanism on the back. They're around about an inch thick. And if you're wall mounting them, you can add a few more mil for the wall mounting plate. It's quite simple to set up, you just simply add the controller to your base. Once you add one of these hexagons to the controller, this panel then passes the message on to the panel next to it, but it does need to be one of the connectors connecting that signal. If it's just one of the fixators, it will not light up the panel. Right, so that locks it. It should just connect something like this. I don't have a red or a blue pill here, but I do have two various connectors. This one is called the connector. This is the wide connector, the two pin. And then we also have what Colo Light call the fixator. Now, a fixator is actually a word. I did have to research this, but it is actually a word in the English language here. This would be a stabilizer. It's fine. We understand what they mean. So when you're connecting these, you need to make sure you use this two pin port at the bottom to connect any of your panels. If you connect them from any of the single ports around the edges, this will not light up the panel. These are intended for the stabilizers only, just to stabilize whatever design you decide to use. So make sure you are using those two pin connectors on each of the panels. We're just connect into this every time. Okay, then let's build this heart shape and see what it looks like. And then we'll go ahead and make a few more random shapes and play with the settings and whatnot. After building the heart, all of the connections are the double RGB connectors. There is just one stabilizer segment just to make it a little more sturdy. In my opinion, this looks very, very good. The RGB is very bright and vibrant. Now, this is actually the Hexagon Pro kit, which includes this PC controller. This will require a complete video of its own though. It's a cool piece of kit, and I believe we can also control the Colo lights from this unit as well, but we'll get to that in the other video. Okay, to take full control of these, then we want to install the application. You can do this simply scanning the QR code that's included in the packaging, or you can search for the Colo Light app in the Google and the Apple stores. There are one or two permissions that you'll need to accept, it's just your usual spiel. Then you will need to create an account. There is no guest feature here unfortunately, but it is helpful to have an account when using it across multiple devices and it also helps remember your settings and so forth. It's very user friendly in general, it's easy to navigate and all of the actions are really responsive. Although to be honest, I did expect a few more themes, Cololite have assured me there will be more themes and updates in the near future. 
At the very top, we've got the name of the device that we're controlling, and we've also got the power on and off. We've also got a brightness slider at the top there. Right now, we're at around 75%. Just underneath that, we've got the dynamic, the color, and the rhythm modes. We've got the speed and the recommended themes. The speed is customizable, and we do get a nice visual wave effect. The themes, I did expect a few more. There's some that I really like. There's some that are just, well, meh, average, really. But there are one or two, maybe even three, that I do really like that I will use very often in my personal setup. My personal favorites are the first one, Random, obviously, and Rainbow. But there are about 12 to choose from and to customize. You can also make your own effects. I do recommend playing around with the app though so you can get familiar with all of its features. Second favorite I would say is either Aura or Ice Cream. If we come onto the My Effects tab, we can edit the color, the speed. We have a whole host of options like chasers and breathe effects. You can even select the type of pattern that you want. So that means the light could start from say the center of the hexagon or it could come from the left side or the right side or be in a wave effect and so on. There's loads of options to play with and you can mess around with these and just pick something that suits you. I really like this customizable option. It's unique as well. Next, we've got the recommended color palette. Now, this is just some generic colors. There is no color wheel to select from or anything like that. They are just a generic set of colors, but they do look nice and they would suit certain themes and the option is there should you want to use it. There is also the My Effects part at the bottom where you can always go and add and customize your theme further if you wish to. And finally, we've got the Rhythm Mode. Now, there's only four recommended modes here, but they are pretty cool and they do work well. You can also add your own effects. I've got one that I added here. They're also very responsive to any noises like clapping and voices. And they sync up very well with music. To be honest, they're not 100% accurate, but I've never had a set of LEDs that are 100% accurate all of the time. These are quite responsive. The performance level is more than acceptable here. We can also wall mount this panel and we can also control this manually by pressing the touch panel here. You can also reset the panels by holding this down for around, I think it's 10 to 15 seconds if you need to repair them or do any resetting. Another reason I really like this LED kit is how diverse it is. You can wall mount this by simply adding a couple of the wall mounts. You don't even need to use all of them, but if you want to make sure it's nice and secure, then you might want to line everything up and make sure all of the plates are in correct positions. But in this instance, I've just used two of those mounting plates and it's holding the whole kit without any issues. Because these are so diverse, they can be used on your desk or on a shelf, or they can be used on the original stand and the base that's included. Now, I do have a little issue here that we did find that we do need to talk about, and that is the power outlet. If you're trying to power this from a normal USB port, you may have some crashes and issues. It's probably just better to show you guys, and I can explain. In the defense of Colo Light here, I saw a video last week where a guy had uh, used a different power supply for these, and he got crashes as well. And then after reading the instructions, the instructions clearly say, and I just did see this in the app, it actually did tell me in the app as well, but I ignored it. It said, make sure you're using a two amp outlet or you may get crashes and issues. Now, because of where the light's positioned, I'm just using it from a TV USB port, which is definitely not gonna be two amps. So let's try getting this on a power supply, an actual power supply and see if that, fixes all of the crashes if it does i'll be very pleased but then i will be disappointed that you need a plug and they don't include one it will run off the usb on the tv absolutely fine but if you do want to come into the app and play with the speed and the settings and the brightness and things like that it is going to require the full two amps just bear that in mind guys 
In regards to shapes, you can make any shape you want out of this. You are somewhat limited as you only have 10 pieces. But another good thing about this kit, you can buy extension packs and get like three piece kits that you just add to the existing setup that you have. Or if you really wanted to push the boat out, you could get several of these kits and put them together and cover like an entire segment of a wall or a canvas or something like that. It's really cool. You can make several shapes out of it without any issue. It's nice and sturdy. Although when you're moving it around, you do want to be careful with some shapes as some are a little flimsier than others, but in general, it's pretty sturdy. The weighted base certainly helps as well. There are several ways you can get your hands on one of these. You can go to Colo Light Direct. As always, I'll leave links in the description. It is a premium product and priced accordingly. It is currently $239.99 US and that's a sale price. A special thanks to Colo Light here because they've given us a 10% discount code. So if you add RRR, triple R at checkout, you'll get 10% off your order. With each purchase that we do make, they also promise to plant a tree. This ticks the environmental friendly box and the packaging also reflects that. We also have access to some accessories here. So like I said, the expansion kits, some connectors and fixators in case you need any of those and some spare power leads in case you have extra kits, etc. I was also pleased to see the wide range of compatibility. It's compatible with like Google, Amazon, Apple, Stream Deck, Razer Chroma and more. You can also grab this from Amazon if you want to just grab the heart kit itself without the desktop controller then it's $139.99 in the UK at the time of recording. It's also got over 600 reviews with a 4 star rating which is impressive. Now you're not going to get the really random reviews 10% discount code from Amazon but because you're spending over £100 Amazon will give you the 10% off qualifying purchases so you will still get a 10% discount from this purchase. Amazon links are affiliate and the Colo Light link is also affiliate. By using those links you are directly supporting the channel and I really greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys that do that. Overall then I have to say I'm very impressed with the Colo Light Hexagon Heart. I'm going to keep it in my setup. I am going to use it. It's part of my RGB setup now so it gets a massive thumbs up from me. Guys if you found any part of this video helpful at all or if you enjoyed any part of it please consider leaving a like on the video subscribing to the channel with your notifications on that way you never miss any future uploads thanks to each and every one of you that have blessed me with your time today i appreciate each and every one of you guys until next time then take care of yourselves and each other i'm craig this is really random reviews and i'll see you in my next video